Hello, in this presentation we're going to look at the Automate Woo plugin for WooCommerce by Daniel Bitzer. When you have a shopping cart application like WooCommerce, you are reacting to people purchasing your goods. But wouldn't it be great if we could be a bit more proactive and create some follow-up marketing tools to create more engagement? These can be as simple as thanking a customer after the order or encouraging them to take action, to return, to complete a purchase for a uh, abandoned shopping cart maybe to thank them if an order is over a certain value or to ask feedback or a referral. So this is how the simple automate program works. We have a selection of triggers. So these are the actions which will start a system and these are pretty easy to understand. Uh, orders processing, completed, cancelled, on hold, etc. And you'll see at the bottom there, there are two cart ones, uh, abandoned cart for users and for guests. Obviously abandoned cart, we need to have the email address of the person, otherwise we're going to find it rather difficult to send them an email as a follow-up. But once we have a trigger set off, we can then create an action. And you can, in this Automate Woo, run multiple actions. Those actions can be send an email, which is usually the one we use a lot of, and change the user type or the order status, add or update various parts of their product and metadata. And we can also add them to three very popular uh, email marketing applications as well. Now this can happen immediately or we can have a delay of hours, days or weeks. So if you're doing a thank you email or um, you might want to do that pretty immediately. If you're doing an email perhaps for uh, asking them if they want to refill for something you may choose a certain number of weeks to, get to do that. It all depends on the situation. So we'll have a look at a live uh, demonstration of the product and uh, you can see how easy it is to use. So here we are on my demonstration server, which can be slow sometimes, so I apologize for that in advance. And we've got WooCommerce running and we've installed the Automate Woo, which sets up this little workflows menu item and this gives us the workflows that I've already created and I've just created one as an example to show you and then we'll do one from scratch now this is nice and easy really to to follow it's a very well laid out uh, application here are the triggers which we have looked at earlier in the PowerPoint presentation so we can choose when we want the trigger to happen so I'm going to say when the order is processed and then we have a number of options so first of all we can apply it to different types of users if that's applicable we can choose a order minimum and maximum value if we wish to limit it that way and then we can choose which payment gateway the uh, was checked out on so you may want to apply just people who pay by check or people pay by bank transfer uh, or you can select everybody then we have a simple question which I never use in demonstrations of course because otherwise I can't repeat it but is it the user's first order? So we can limit it to the first order and we can also limit the email to once per user so they don't get the same offer over and over again. 
and we can recheck before the status before run and that of course makes sure that the um, conditions haven't changed and these little help boxes are useful as well remind you of all the different things that are going on so that's very easy to follow on the uh, run options we uh, have the ability to set after set period so many days weeks or hours or we can set something to happen immediately we can enable email tracking which puts a tracking code in which makes it very easy to pull uh, the emails back and then after that we have to set an action so I've defined an action here already for sending an email which um, most of the outcomes for this I found are email related so we have the action is uh, send an email and sending it to the user's email so I'm picking up the available variables I've got here so that means the user's email there's the subject there's the heading for the email and then we have a simple box to put in the content again we can use values here and you can also generate a coupon although actually that syntax is incorrect so please don't copy that because there's a mistake in it Should be that and then the coupon name, which I think was all the 15, wasn't it? Can somebody tell me? No, you can't because you're not here. This is a recording. So that's how we set our action. But as I said earlier in the presentation, you can have multiple actions. So I could set up a second action if I wanted to down here. And that is simply how it works. So for, uh, if I can find the right window, and pull in, so here is my um, test account email service. So there's the thank you for your order, the standard WooCommerce email message, and the copy going to admin. Well, I can send an email back myself. there's another order I did and this message you see I've got two example controls in there for the variable for the order number and the value you can use the um, customizer and customize the emails in the same way as you do for other WooCommerce emails but that is how you send your messages out.